So as I was driving here, not a Stanford graduate that I am, I was, as always, lost on Stanford, Stanford campus, even though I spent the last five years living across the street from Stanford, literally, so it shows how much free time I had. But um, so I was calling Peter for directions. He told me that he realized that this is the building where we met. So it's actually a very auspicious place, perhaps, although we didn't meet in this room, particularly we met in a room upstairs. And uh, the room upstairs was uh, being used by Peter to give a talk on financial markets and currency trading. And I basically went there because I just moved to Palo Alto from Champaign-Urbana, which is where I went to school, and um, pretty much was bumming around during the summer just trying to see what, what to do next with my life. So I went to see uh, this guy, Peter Thiel, who was giving a free lecture or free talk about currency markets and uh, figured it would be like a filled auditorium, but it actually turned out to be a lecture with six people in it. So uh, it was uh, fairly easy to make contact afterwards, and since I was uh, sort of a, the right combination of jumpy to do something new and just bored enough to talk to anyone who could listen, I came up with this guy and said, you know, I'm, I'm this guy Max, I've been in Silicon Valley for the last five days, and I'm going to start a new company, and uh, how are you doing? And uh, uh, that's the, the beginning of my, my version of the story. You know, I, at the time I decided that, so this was in 98, I was uh, running a small fund, and I was thinking that the best thing uh, at the time to do was to start a company in Silicon Valley. And uh, a bunch of my friends had started companies, and, uh, and you know, there's all this crazy different stuff that uh, happens. I, you know, I've been involved in a variety of companies that have sort of blown up in catastrophic ways, where, you know, uh, people teamed up and they started the company, and uh, it was sort of like uh, marrying the first person one met at a slot machine in Las Vegas. Uh, you know, you might hit the jackpot, but chances were things would just blow up catastrophically. And, um, you know, um, all sorts of bizarre things where, you know, within a matter of weeks, everybody hated everybody else in the company and uh, it may have had great business plans, but didn't matter at all. And, uh, and so I thought it made sense to try to get involved a little bit more, you know, in, in getting one of these uh, businesses started at the very beginning. And uh, that fall, Max and I spent a lot of time brainstorming different ideas on different types of markets. Uh, Max wanted to do something with crypto. I wanted to do something with, uh, he had done a lot of uh, work on encryption technology. I wanted to do something with, uh, with finance. And, um, and, uh, and we finally decided uh, that we wanted to try to do something with encrypted uh, money on Palm Pilots. Uh, we thought this was going to be the, the future of the world. And, uh, and uh, the two of us uh, jointly started uh, this company called uh, Confinity, initially Fieldlink, but then renamed Confinity in December of 98.